point uh, I was trained that maybe be able to uh, look across the sidelines and not pass over Carlisle. Yeah, it'll be it'll be different for sure. Um, yeah, I don't really remember anything else. <laughs> you know, he was here for such a long time, and obviously working for him uh, was one of the best moments of my career. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be weird, but it's also kind of strange that the lineup is very much the same as when <laughs> I first got here. So, um, yeah, there's been a lot of changes as part of the NBA, and it will be a little bit different. I'm going to ask you that this morning. How weird is it, the notion of the same starting lineup for three consecutive <laughs> For me personally, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, you, you usually don't see it. I mean, from year to year, there's always change. And for uh, about three consecutive years with change here, change there, has been pretty consistent. And um, based on what we did last year, as far as setting the record for most starting lineups in a season. Um, <laughs> you know, it's it's a uh, testament to those guys, uh, continuity to their health, to a lot uh, for them to be able to throw out the same lineup as much as they have over the years. Sure, this is old stuff with the Houston guys. What do you like most about Balin and foundation piece do you think Yes. Yeah, I love him because he is a great kid, first and foremost, like listens, tries, applies coaching. Uh, he's a very, very good worker. I mean, almost to the point where we have to like, hey, that's a little too much because uh, he'll shoot in the morning, lift, practice, then go home and then come back at night and get more shooting in. So um, that's a good recipe for, for a good player. As far as like how he can be as a foundational piece and all that stuff, it's hard to say right now. Um, it's been three games in a training camp and uh, he has a lot of tools. He is a very good learner, very good listener um, and has a chance to be pretty good. <laughs> you have a lot of pieces last year, but one player you did have for the 40th season was Sterling Brown. Uh, last year, I saw him out there shaking hands, hugging everybody. But what did Sterling do to you? A lot. I mean, he brought uh, toughness to our group. He brought a consistent shooter on the floor. I mean, I think he shot right around 40% from three, which was important for our group last year. Um, He's just like super solid guy that everybody liked in the locker room. And as people were coming and going and coming and going, he was one of the guys who stayed started right from the start and finished at the finish. So, um, yeah, he was really a, a joy to coach. And uh, hopefully he'll have success, um, not tonight, of course, but <laughs> going, going forward. Mara, do we have any questions? Crystal Saltis. Hello, Coach. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you very much. Coach, speaking about the uh, Jalen Green's game, what impressed you most about the level of maturity of his uh, game on offensive end? And what was your initial expectation about the first uh, games of the season for him? Uh, yeah, the first games of the season, I just wanted him to basically get his feet wet, um, kind of learn as he goes and didn't want to put too much pressure, too much expectation on him at all. Um, as far as what he did in the last game, it was um, great to see him bounce back from the nine-point game that he had uh, in the previous game to going for 30 and playing in a very similar way. It wasn't like he was trying to press. It wasn't like he was trying to uh, do more than he is capable of doing. He played very similarly. And the results were were uh, were different. And if he finds that consistency amongst uh, from game to game, then he could be uh, really good for us.